Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, next video at Data, Data with Dominic and today we're going to be looking at how to derive new columns from existing columns in a data frame using PySpark. Alright, so let's dive into the demo. So basically we're using the Databricks Community Edition here and I have a video on how you can set this up for yourself and use PySpark for free and I'll link to this in the top right corner of your screen and basically what I've done so far is I've just imported a data frame from a CSV file and I've displayed it so you can get an ID of the data so we've got an ID column, a first name, a last name, an email, a gender and an IP address alright so let's I would say let's dive in to the demo and derive our first row of data alright so just to, I think, get the ball rolling, what we can just confirm. Okay, so in this situation, we've got ID has been captured as a string in this case. So what we want to do is we want to uh, just quickly make that a integer so it's easier to work with. And again, I can show you some more scenarios. So I've done a video on how to uh, change the data types of a column. You can check that out or you can just if, if this line of code is enough for you to understand you can That's well and good So just to confirm Yeah Oh my bad So that should work now. All right. So once we've done that, we can uh, begin with the demonstration. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to derive a new column exactly as an exact copy of an existing column in the data frame. All right. So to do that, we can just use the with column function. And so the first thing we have to specify in the parameters of the with column function is the name of the new column. So I'm just going to call it ID2 since it's uh, the, I'm just going to be uh, making an exact copy of the ID column. So I'm call it ID2 and how we can derive it as an exact copy of the existing ID column is just to specify the df.id or that is the existing id.column id column in the second parameter position so again taking you through this it's dot with column and then we specify the name of the new column uh, within double quotes so it's a string and then in the second position we can specify the column which we want to base this new column off so id2 will be based off of df.id which is basically like a two point address for this id column inside our df data frame so when we run this we get a display df yeah so you can see we've got an id2 which is an exact copy of id all right so you can just ignore this df column for now i had made a slight error here when i had initially cast it as a new column this when i was changing the data type so just ignore this df column here for now so you just need to know that this id2 column is a new column based exactly on the first initial id column and now we can perform arithmetic operations as well all right so if we have an id3 column we can uh, set that to be equal to the first id column multiplied by three so now when we display the data frame and see that we've got it's basically multiples of three of the initial id column so you can use any arithmetic operation that python supports and um, uh, do whatever transformation is required then you can also do it you can also uh, set up a column as the product of two existing columns so I can do it as 
ID 4 will be the product of the first ID column and the second ID column. All right, which is basically like a square product since they have the same values. So that's done. Yes, yeah, so you can see we've got basically square squared values of the ID column because we're multiplying it into itself or identical copy, which is what ID two is. And finally, uh, just to show you a new scenario, what we can do is we can concatenate two string columns to give you a like a full name. Since we have in this situation, we have a first name and a last name, we can make that a full name. So how we do that is we just do df is equal to df dot with column specify the full name which is the name of the new column that we are deriving and then we can use a concat function all right and within the concat function we just do df we specify the columns that we want to concatenate in this case it's df dot first name and df dot last name so we run this and it's run so let's see if that's worked let me scroll to the right yeah so here it is but you can see there was no separator since this specific concatenate function does not include uh, separators so how we can get a separator in there is using a new function which more or less requires the same code as last time and we can call the new column full name let's go ws which means with separator and the function also is called concat underscore ws which is basically concatenate with the separator and using this function the first parameter you want to specify is actually the separator that you want to use it can be anything but i'm leaving it as a space in this scenario and then we can just specify the first the two columns that we want to concatenate so it's first name and df dot last name that's executed so let's see the output we've got yeah so you can see we've got the full name with a separator that is the space in the situation so basically that's how we derive new columns in data frames based on existing columns using PySpark. thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one